Uh, my name is Professor Nick White. Uh, I'm a professor here at the Faculty of Tropical Medicine in the Mahidon Oxford Research Unit in Thailand, uh, and I'm also a consultant physician in Oxford in the UK. Well, I work on a number of different infectious diseases, uh, but I, I, the two more uh, pressing recent uh, areas of research have been uh, on COVID-19 and how to treat it and prevent it and much longer uh, interest in malaria. I've been working on that for nearly 50 years. So in COVID, uh, two things. One was we did, uh, well, what turned out to be the world's largest prevention trial uh, to find out whether chloroquine or hydroxychloroquine uh, pr could prevent uh, COVID-19. Uh, that was done in healthy uh, volunteers. Uh, and uh, more recently here in, in Bangkok, but also in Brazil, in Pakistan, in Laos, and soon to be in uh, Nepal, uh, we've been testing the drugs. So the question has been what drugs work in COVID and what doesn't. And we've developed a methodology which is based on how quickly the virus is cleared from, from the back of the throat, actually, from the oropharynx. And we measure the virus, quantitate the virus each day after different treatments. And that's told us for example, that drugs like ivermectin or favipiravir don't work, but it's told us that drugs like remdesivir and molnupiravir do work, and best of all at the moment is the main protease inhibitor, nimitrelvir, but also ensotrelvir. So it's given us, a, it's given us a, or given policymakers uh, evidence upon which to choose drugs. For COVID now, which is becoming a much less serious health problem, we still need uh, drugs because people, it's still causing disease, morbidity, mortality. So uh, that simple question of what drugs should people take and when should they take them. In malaria, uh, the big concern at the moment, uh, in fact it's a recurring concern, but the, the, the major worry is that drug resistance is going to turn back the progress that occurred in the first 15 years of this millennium. So malaria the world's most important parasitic disease. We were winning for between 2000 and 2015. Numbers were coming down across the world and now they're going up again. And uh, this is fueled by drug resistance, resistance to the anti-malarial drugs. So we're trying to develop, a new, well, we have developed a new approach to the treatment of malaria, which is to use three drugs, not two, to protect each other against resistance. So these triple artemisinin combination treatments is developing those and figuring out, are they safe, are they effective, where should they be used? That's our pressing study. Well, those two examples are both very common diseases. Malaria is the most important parasitic disease of humans. So if we can uh, reduce the uh, morbidity, the suffering, and the deaths from malaria, then clearly that's very important for populations living in malaria endemic areas. Uh, for COVID, I'm hoping it's not going to come back and sting us again, but uh, this approach to testing the drugs can be applied to other diseases. So we're actually testing it in influenza, respiratory syncytial virus, and other respiratory infections. So uh, respiratory infections are a very important cause of uh, suffering and death as well. They're, important, they're amongst the most important infectious diseases of humans. So if we can improve the treatment of those, well, I think people will be pleased with that. Uh, I would hope that uh, funders would consider this improvement in human health and happiness and well-being and productivity are useful things. I think uh, I've tried to explain that those particular in those areas, I think we can make we can do research which translates. I think it's very important in medical research that you have a reasonable prospect that it will translate into human benefit. Uh, a lot of medical research doesn't. A lot of it fails. That's reasonable. You know, we, not everything works. But I think we, we, particularly in our area of research, we have to have a reasonable prospect that the work will translate into human benefit. So I think that's why uh, I would hope we will be funded. <laughs>